Texas, the Pay 2001 at Imagine Venues in Houston, Texas. This is Fury FC 74, Smotherman versus Caballero. But first, please welcome to the cage for your opening preliminary bout, Francisco Rosas. Francisco Rosas, second time inside the Fury cage, coming off a unanimous decision loss to Carlos Nanez at FC 36 in January of last year. Had really good moments in that fight, but unfortunately just looked overmatched against Carlos. So it's exciting to see what he's worked on since last year. Yeah, undoubtedly Raheel, you know, it's been his wrestling that he's been working on. Uh, you know, that was his weak point a little bit before. Uh, but, you know, from January to January or January to January to the following February, that's a lot of time to make up and a lot of time to get better at something. Absolutely. Fighting out of El Campo. He's been training at uh, Texas Third Coast. You see Jason Solis there, uh, son of Professor Joe Solis as well. Such a decorated name here in the city of Houston when it comes to mixed martial arts, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, uh, JKD as well. So really, really great camp, I'm sure, for this young man. And I know they put him through the ringer because they have an awesome, awesome program there. Yeah, and, and you know, we, 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 we say it every week, but, man, this flyweight division at Fury, I mean, I don't know if these guys know they're amateurs now. I don't know if they know what they're getting into, getting into that flyweight division. Yeah. I mean, they may want to go up or go down because this flyweight division in the amateur division and in the pros for Fury is just a savage division. Yep. So if you have a weakness, if you have something, the amateur is the time to work on it because once you make that leap, you know, and these guys aren't far, even though he's only got one fight, you know, very skilled, you know, four, five, six fights uh, as an amateur, and you're on to the pros. I mean, you look at the timeline for Josh Van, right? Like, it, yeah. it was in a span of a year and a half, he went from what was just an amateur, you know, fighting, exciting, to being the number one prospects in the flyweight division. So it, it could happen fast if you're skilled and you're good enough. But, man, this is a way to start your career right here on the prelims of one of the biggest cards of the year. Let's go inside to Wayne to meet his opponent. Please welcome to the red corner, Jorge Cruz. Jorge Cruz, 2-2 two two record. Fourth time inside the Fury Cage as an amateur. Coming off that loss to Gage Harper back at Challenger Series 1 in December. He is a very busy fighter. That's the best way to describe uh, Jorge Cruz. He just stays busy with wrestling, striking, and he is going to be in your face. Yeah, and you know, we, we just talked about Josh Van. He's a perfect example of that. Not only was he a busy fighter when he was in the cage, but he stayed active that whole time. And that's how in that 18 months, you know, he's gone from, you know, budding amateur to fury champion. And now right on the cusp of being called up to the next level. So uh, it can happen, you know, uh, with a two and two record doesn't really matter. We've seen it go both ways. We've seen guys uh, like Brexton Everett comes to mind who was 15 or 16 and 0 as an amateur and just can't get it done at the pros. We've seen one in four guys go undefeated. All right, let's go inside for our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, your opening preliminary contest brought to you by SheathUnderwear.com is scheduled for three rounds in the Fury Amateur Series Flyweight Division. Introducing your first competitor fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist is five feet, five inches tall, and he weighed in at 121.4 pounds. Fighting out of El Campo, Texas. Today, he seeks his first win as an amateur this is Francisco Rosas. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This freestyle fighter stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, and he weighed in at 124.8 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, he holds an amateur record of two wins, two losses. This is Jorge Cruz. Your referee in charge of the action, Jeff Rexrode. Only right that Jeff Rexrode, the biggest official, gets the smallest weight class to start it. <laughs> yeah, and if, it, for both of these guys, Raheel, if there was a smaller weight class, these guys could probably fight in it. Yeah, for sure. Good start from Rosas. Yeah, you can see Rosas wants to start aggressively. 
uh, in here. But he kind of did that last time. You know, he kind of, he, last time we saw him, he, he kind of came out on fire. And uh, it looks like uh, Cruz is just, that he expected that. You know, he's kind of stifling him now, staying heavy on him, keeping him up against the cage. Fight Clock brought to you by OnlyFans. Make sure you subscribe to the Fury FC OnlyFans page right now. A lot of giveaways. Every picture from the event from Fury FC will be on there. So fighters, if you want to get all of your pictures, subscribe to the OnlyFans account. Plus, Wayne has a special April calendar coming up, I believe. Yeah, and, I mean, it's a good thing. You're like, no, I was on OnlyFans looking at Fury pictures. Yeah. You can tell your significant other, and that hey, should man. be true. Great for content creators, <laughs> That's right. right. That's... Craig Jones is on OnlyFans. Who would make the most money out of the Fury broadcast team on OnlyFans? Uh, it would have to be Mono, right? I would think so, right? Yeah. Like, he could do some awesome lessons. Just the broadcast, I think Wayne. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Wayne's just willing to do more. That's his only. <laughs> That's his only. I might have to. But with the second kid now, I might have to do it. Ooh, Ooh, nice good shot there. Cruz closes the distance really, really quick there. May have felt that that kick to the gut just a little bit. Maybe needing some time to rest a little. He keeps trying to go for that leg, for that outside trip. And so he's not getting heavy on the foot, though. He's just kind of, kind of tr swipe it over with his heel. Um, and, you know, you can see Rosa is really, really heavy on his feet. There he goes again. Rosa is kind of... Rex Rove didn't see that, but, I mean, he may have saved himself. He may have grabbed the cage just a little bit to keep from getting taken down there. By the way, blue gloves for Rosas, red for Cruz as we get under a minute in the first round. And the rare quad and hamstring punches by both guys uh, up against the cage. You don't see that as much. Probably don't do as much damage. Just annoying. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're underrated for sure. I mean, they, you know, anything that hits your quads... Uh, is causing some damage and it's causing Ooh. some time. Here we go with the front. Ooh, reaches around, got it. He's got that neck. He's got 20 seconds left. Let's see if he can fight it for 20 seconds. His his gate arm is a little bit exposed there, but this is in tight, Raheel. Is this going to be tight. enough? He may be just out of, you see how he's kind of 45 degrees on there. Uh, got, has one shoulder to the mat. He may be up the angle of, maybe no good for the choke anymore. As a matter of fact, that's exactly yeah. what's happening. Rosas will survive round one. Ended it in a really bad position, but good defense. Yeah. To not get tapped out in 20 seconds. Yeah, and Francisco Rosa did the exact right thing. You beat that choke with position. You, If you fight the hands, if you fight the choke, you're going to end up losing that battle. But you get out of position, makes it really, really difficult, makes your opponent have to do something. Great round for uh, for Jorge Cruz, though. Here you see him with that front headlock, that snap down. Rosas may have wanted that snap down a little bit. See that the rear naked choke is here. He's almost got it there. I think if he would have elevated that outside leg just a little bit to keep him square to him, I think he would have had the finish. But again, Rosas doing a good job uh, getting out of position uh, for that choke to be effective. Look for that again, though, Raheel. I Absolutely. expect this to go right to the ground immediately in the second round. By the way, we have seven amateur fights on this undercard. This is the eighth one going on right now. Then uh, four professional fights on the undercard, and then we'll go to our main card just to let everyone know about the schedule for our prelims. Ooh, nice one-two combo. Back-to-back. -back. Sometimes you just got to trust the technical striking from Rosas. Yeah, Rosas needs to do exactly what he did. He needs to get off the Ooh. cage here. Nice shot to the gut. Rosas is very effective with his striking right now. Just needs to stay out of this position. He has got to stay off the cage. Very impressive start to the second round for Rosas. And man, he just cannot keep himself off the cage. He's a little bit smaller than Jorge Cruz. So there is that, that, that Cruz is a little bit bigger, maybe able to manhandle him a little bit, but he didn't seem to lack strength. He didn't seem to feel like he was much bigger whenever he was in, in that rear naked choke position. He was able to get out pretty easy. Or at least change position pretty easy. He never actually got out of it. But again, this is, a, this is, Cruz's, this is Cruz's fight. The way it, the second round started, Raheel, that was the way Rosas needs to fight. And that, it looks like that's the plan. 
He wants to create distance, get in that pocket, and, and throw hands and, and kicks. And for Cruz, it's, it looks, I mean, it's obvious he wants to slow down that striking and really make it a dirty fight up against the cage. And that's what's happening right now. And he's staying active in it. Has already been broken up once by Jeff Rexrode for yeah. lack of activity there. And he took a little damage right there in the first round. He took it pretty well. I mean, it didn't seem to affect him much. He didn't want any more of it. But, you know, again, one of those amateur mistakes, he was taking damage. He started moving backwards and he's moving in a straight line backwards. You got to create those angles to stay out of that punching and kicking path. Now we go back, broken up from that clinch. Oh, big left there from Rosas. And again, Rosas does a better job here of kind of flipping it around. But being a shorter, smaller fighter is going to be very difficult, especially when Cruz has that underhook. I think Cruz should have kept that underhook for Hill. He, he kind of gave it up because he thought maybe he could get that guillotine. And now he's oh, going to let him, kind of let him have the neck. Oh, nice knee to the quad there. You can see one of those, I don't know what it was, but one of those hurt roses a little bit. You see him wincing a little bit. Trying to take a breather. Cruz just really wants that neck. Second time going for it in the last 45 seconds. Yeah, and if he can get his hands together, he'll, Roses is in trouble here. About 10 seconds left in the fight. End of round flurry from Rosas. And Rosas is just getting a little too close with those kicks. He's, he's going for those body kicks. He's just a little bit too close whenever he goes for them. You see he's hitting his body with his knee, but his leg is straight when he's doing it. Again, here's how the round started. Ooh. Nice big flurry there. Kind of barely caught him on a nice shot to the ribs there. Another little body shot there. You can see that one hurt Cruz just a little bit. Man, good counter punch there too. Yeah, and then Cruz goes right back to, to keeping him on the cage. Doing some damage here, uh, you know, with the, the front headlock. Those shots to the quad, you can see Rose did not like those at all. Very close fight so far. First round, who do you have? Man, I think I have Cruz in the first round. Uh, maybe Rose is in the second round, but it's very, very close. I mean, it never went to the ground, uh, which favors Rose's. Um, and so I, I think it's a round apiece. Definitely this guy's more, got three minutes here to, to prove who wants it. Definitely more damage done in round two by Rosas, more control by Cruz. And the judges here in Houston, at least, have been skewing more towards damage as opposed to control time of late. But we'll see if we get to that point, if we get to the judges' scorecards. Still a chance here for either guy to finish the fight. Rose is trying to provoke Cruz into a into an exchange there. Cruz staying very calm, staying very disciplined. Ooh, nice shot to the gut there. Very nice. And see, Raheel, that's what happens whenever, you know, he's just trying to throw kicks without setting them up. He didn't throw anything in his hands, no feints, no, no, no hands to the face, no nothing. And so, and, and uh, Cruz was able to catch that kick and get Roses to the ground now. And he just needs that, I mean, his, his game is, is standing up. He needs to, you know, Cruz is giving him the space. He needs to, you know, he should have used that space to, to get in there. And ooh, Cruz ooh. is going for a leg lock here. That's a straight ankle lock. That's very tight. Roses kind of laughed at him and pulled his ankle out pretty easy. And now he's on top here. A little bit of ground and pound from the guard. Would probably be better to turn Cruz just a little bit, maybe get his head up against the cage instead of those legs. He's leaving him just enough space to be able to put his foot up on the cage, turn very, very quickly to go to a submission. You see he's isolating that arm. Rosas well, does a good job of getting it out of there, but he put it right back in. A little wall walk from Jorge. Yeah, he, he got a little bit too square on his foot uh, using that wall walk because it kind of pushed him away from it. You kind of want to walk up, be light on it. You kind of want to use it to kind of invert your hips and 
Uh, it makes it really easy to transition to an arm bar or a triangle from there. Gotta be careful not to take any damage here. Yeah, with 54 seconds left for Hill, I think uh, <laughs> Cruz needs to get up or he needs to get on top and do some damage. Uh, if this fight ends this way, I think this is going to have to go to, to Rosas. Rosas being really aggressive right now. Yeah, he does not want to lose his position. Now, good punches from the bottom from Cruz. Yeah, I just don't... Rosas kind of laughing at him. <laughs> Rosas talking to him a little bit here. Rosas just said, I love this bleed. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> He's a maniac right now. Yeah, he is on a mission. He has definitely improved Raheel from, from last time we saw him. Definitely made some improvements here. It's funny what a year can do. Ten seconds left. Looks like the fight is going to end in this position. So we'll go to the judges' score cards and see how they are feeling on this Sunday. First fight. Going to the judges' score cards. It's kind of good for us because we will kind of get a sense of what they are favoring today. We look at our round three highlights. There's that ankle lock where Cruz just looked like he, he had it and Rosas just took it out. Yeah, and unfortunately, that was his only highlight in the third round. I think, you know, even though not a lot of damage done, you know, didn't do a lot once he got on top, but kind of held him down there for, for quite a while. So, you know, you like to judge on that criteria where you're just, all right, who held it, who held, who controlled the match, but... You know, sometimes you just have to. If there's not a lot of damage, neither fighter's doing much, uh, you gotta do that. Very, very exciting moments, though, in every round of that fight. In fact, they need to have a little jump to kind of figure it out also. Wayne taking a little extra time to get into the cage. Hey, don't forget to follow us on social media at Fury Fighting on Instagram. Get all of the pictures. Make sure you tag us at your watch parties. We will be resharing content from all of our Fury fans. Follow us on at Fury FC on Facebook. Like our page. We put up a lot of pictures up there as well. Fight cards, fight news, everything Fury related. Follow us personally at Black Belt Mike 99 at Real Doing Things on Instagram. Let's go inside and see how the judges score this. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of combat, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision brought to you by OnlyFans. All three judges score the fight 29-28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Francisco Rosas. Congratulations to Francisco Rosas, gets his first win as an amateur. Had control pretty much from round two to round three. That was a really good display. Good to see that for the young man. Now we have seven more amateur fights. So let's get it going. Here's our next fighter.